So you've just received a wedding invite in the mail. What do you wear? There are so many dress codes out there these days for weddings, but we're gonna break it down for you. Now my number one tip is do not do this. Do not wear white to any wedding. Say something amazing like this for your own wedding date. So something like this is more appropriate for a traditional church wedding with the length something either above the knee or just below the knee and it is fine to wear something a bit darker. So it used to be a rule that you can't wear black to a wedding but black is fine. I'm in navy, navy is the new black. Maybe even something with a long sleeve, lace is gorgeous for a wedding and just a great heel. One wedding that's really popular at the moment is your destination wedding or beach wedding when you get invited <laughs> to an amazing tropical location to spend time with all your friends. Luca, so you ready? I am. Here she comes, beach wedding. Tell me what you got going on here. So I'm wearing a printed maxi dress, which I think is perfect for a beach wedding, really boho and flowy. And a flat shoe always, because you obviously can't walk in the sand in a heel. I've also put on some gold cuffs to go with my beachy feel. And Love some that. earrings as well to finish it off. Just really natural boho kind of look. So Lotta, are you ready? Sure, I'm ready. You look amazing. Yes, I do feel very glamorous. Um, I think traditionally you definitely do have to wear a full length gown when it comes to like tie. However, I do feel like you can get away with a dress that's a little bit shorter, but it definitely has to be below your knee. It's really important to read the wedding invite because if the dress code says black tie and you turn up like Lucas in a beachy dress, then you're really gonna stand out, mm -hmm. not in a good way. One of my favourite weddings, the country wedding. So it's usually at a beautiful old barn or a vineyard and it's a chance to just get a little bit more pretty. A beautiful floral dress is perfect for this sort of occasion and just a bag that you can carry around the whole day. Thinking about your footwear, you definitely don't want to wear a stiletto heel. So something a little bit chunkier because you'd most likely be walking on grass all day. Now something similar to a country wedding is a garden wedding. The dress codes are quite similar. They're both during the day, both a little bit more casual. Got Nick coming out. Here I am. Tell us about the garden wedding. So going? for the garden wedding, I've chosen a floral dress to kind of go with the garden theme. It's a shorter length, I feel. It, because it's in the day, I feel you can be a bit more casual. You don't have to wear the maxi, the formal kind of gown. So I feel a short length is quite nice. I've chosen a more casual oversized clutch just because it's a day wedding I feel that's more appropriate. It still has the bling so it's fine for a wedding but you don't really need a formal clutch in the day I feel this is perfect. But I've, yes. I've had to choose a shoe with a bit of bling so it's still dressy to go with the outfit as well. So most of the dress codes we've shown have been for weddings during the day but it's becoming more of a trend to have more of a cocktail party style wedding. So here comes Lotta. Yes, this is my cocktail dress. I think this is something that most girls probably already have in their wardrobe, you know. Um, you know, you wear on Saturday nights or Friday nights. Um, and obviously the length is somewhere between probably mid-thigh to just below the knee. So I've got something a little bit longer just because it's quite sexy up the top. So it kind of balances it out a little bit. Yes, for grandma and grandpa. For grandma and grandpa. And then rather than wearing a traditional earring, I've decided to wear an ear cuff just to make it a little bit more fashion forward. But then pull it back with just a metallic clutch. So quite simple and slick. Yeah, stunning. So there's your six wedding dress codes, but there's also other do's and don'ts for going to a wedding. So we're gonna call it Wedicate. And the first thing is, if you've RSVP'd, make sure you turn up because they would have paid for your seat. And lastly, don't, don't touch the groom. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>